I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. If I hear one more damn person bring up comparisons to LeBron James leaving Cleveland to go to South Beach. When LeBron James and his 61 win team, Cleveland Cavaliers, lost to Orlando in the playoffs to Dwight Howard and Hito Turkoglu and Mikel Petras and Courtney Lee and Ray for Austin. When LeBron James and his Cavaliers lost to that team. Do you know who his teammates were? How about Mo Williams? How about Daniel Booby Gibson? How about Anderson Varejao? How about Zadrunas Ilgorskis? Are you serious? You're going to compare that to LeBron James? I'm sorry, to Kevin Durant departing Oklahoma City and leaving behind Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Enos Cantor? You're going to compare to that? Oklahoma City probably wasn't going to be able to pay everybody. It's probably why they unloaded Ibaka because Ibaka was going to be looking for big money and they knew they had no intentions of paying him. Just the same way they let go of James Harden years ago when it was only $4 million apart and Sam Presti drew a hard line in the sand, which was foolish on his part at that particular moment in time. We get that. They had held on to James Harden and went for it. They probably would have won the title the next year. And if they had done that, you'd have your title. But in the end, here's what this comes down to. There's a difference between chasing rings and being a champion. When LeBron went to Miami, D. Wade and the Miami Heat went to the playoffs, won 47 games, lost in the first round in five games to Boston. And the next year, they had LeBron. And Chris Bosh decided to join D-Wade. Golden State still going to have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala. They'll probably find a way to keep Festus Azili. Cats even like Brandon Rush and those boys going to end up staying on the crew. They're in a position where they ain't going to be able to do anything but sign dudes to minimums. But you understand my point. The nucleus of Golden State's crew is intact. They're two-time defending Western Conference champions. They've got an NBA championship on a resume. If Draymond Green didn't get suspended in five games, chances are Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors would be reigning two-time NBA champions. Because what would have happened in game five before Cleveland gathered that momentum? That was also when Bogut got hurt. No taking nothing away from Cleveland because they had, Golden State had two home games to get it done and they failed. And LeBron and Kyrie and those boys deserved their love. But if there was no suspension, who knows what would have happened? In other words, they don't need Durant. Golden State is doing what any of us should do. They, they should be applauded. Those four brothers recruited the hell out of LeBron, I mean, about under, uh, recruited the hell out of Kevin Durant from everything I've heard. Owner Joe Lacob, Jerry West, all of them were involved. Steve Kerr, they all deserve a boatload of credit. They didn't do anything none of us would do, wouldn't do. They did what they were supposed to do. This is about Kevin Durant. You are a superstar. You are the difference. Oklahoma City had the pieces around you, and you didn't get it done in that game six in Oklahoma City, which forced the game seven. You didn't get it done. And instead of coming back to go at them, you decide to join them. Congratulations.